what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? All right, we got a nurse that was attacked on a Chicago train. Not so fast. The headline should say, nurse accosted on Chicago train because after I viewed the video, the nurse actually attacked someone on the plane. So the headline should have read, nurse attacks on Chicago train. So here's what happened, fam. There's this black guy on the train and he's complaining about the pandemic. He doesn't have a mask on. He's standing over the, the nurse while the nurse is sitting down and he's antagonizing the nurse. And he's like, yeah, you think I'm scared of you? I'm supposed to be scared of you and all this type of stuff. <laughs> so the nurse is trying to create space between he and the dude. And eventually he dares the nurse to get up and the nurse does and go at him, right? When it come to contact, the nurse made physical contact first. And the dude ain't the dude was just standing there really doing a lot of bluffing, woofing. So he wasn't he didn't even make a motion toward the nurse. They're like this and the nurse go in on them. So I was wondering why would they have a headline like that? And not, not just a headline, but when I checked out some of the reports, I checked out some of the news reports, actual video of the news rep reports, they were still playing the same nur narrative. Nurse attacked on Chicago train. But that's not what happened. The nurse actually did the attacking. So again, the media cannot be trusted, man, because they got narratives to spin. They got their job to do, and I got mine to do. I'm like a media watchdog. When they come with that, man, I got to knock it down because I'm suspicious of anything that mainstream media promotes. Anything that they put out, I'm always asking questions. Why are they doing this? Why are they saying this? I'm always asking questions. I, I don't trust them, especially the mainstream media because they have an agenda and it's very consistent with that of the American governments. Oh, yeah government, the media, law enforcement, they're all in it together. Every now and then, they'll put out a story where it looks like they're really seriously questioning the government, seriously questioning law enforcement. <laughs> no, no, no. It's all game. Tell you a quick story. When I was 10, I was sitting on the living room floor watching television with my family. It's me, my sisters and brothers, and my mother. And the news is on, black man shot by the police. The reporter is talking to the spokesperson for HPD. The spokesperson says the man reached, the suspect reached for a gun. Uh, well, the suspect reached for what the officer thought was a gun. He feared for his life and he shot the suspect. Yeah, they've been playing this game. I said, with my smart aleck ass, how we know that's what happened. And my mama said, because they said it. That's it. So you still to this day, 
got a whole lot of people who will believe anything they hear people say on the news. They totally give them the benefit of doubt. Not me. I don't trust him. Now this dude who kicked it off with the nurse, he was in the wrong, I guess. I mean, you know, standing over dude, doing all that threatening and stuff. And then when it go down, when the smoke come, he scared as hell. Didn't get off one lick. The damn nurse doing karate on his ass, all kinds of, yeah, yeah, huh, huh. That food and all that damn barking. Remember fam, this is why when I see dudes doing all that, it never bothers me. You know why? Because long as a dog barking, he can't bite shit. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.